Mama's Kitchen Chronicles. I know it's been a while. <laughs> We've been moving and it's been the summer. Anyway, today I'm making a delicious dish that I thoroughly enjoy. Now this dish is kind of like a day off dish, an all weekend dish because it's a process. But it's not difficult, it just takes a little extra steps. Now, it's called Catalan um, stew with lobster and clams. Um, we did fresh lobster like it called for, but I'm a, if you don't wanna do that, bother with the fresh lobster, you can buy the lobster already cooked. Um, just keep it refrigerated until it's time to put it in the pot. Now, this dish, as I said, is a process, so I ask that you watch the video first, or you can look at the directions um, with the link I'll send you from where I got the recipe. So today I'm drinking a delicious glass of sangria because it's super hot outside. So, <laughs> cheers. And if you're joining me for the first time, thank you. I welcome you, and I hope you do try some of these delicious recipes I have. Oh, and I am now doing real estate. So not only can I give you a wonderful recipe, I can sell your home or help you purchase your forever home. So thank you once more for joining me. Cheers, and I'll see you in my kitchen. All right, guys, once again, welcome back. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight um, some of my ingredients for this dish tonight. Of course, here I have the lobster. Um, we cooked two fresh lobsters, and I did the whole prepping myself. I even made some broth from the shells. There will be instructions in, um, let me fix that there. Uh, we have some minced garlic, fresh garlic, cherry peppers, raw almonds, hazelnuts, raw hazelnuts. Well, no, those are roasted, but no salt or anything on them. That's the only one they had in the store. Um, these are ancho, dried ancho peppers, de-seeded, jalapenos, and finely chopped onions. The clams are in the refrigerator, having um, living their best life until it's time to go in the pot. <laughs> and um, as I said, I pre-did the, the lobster, um, and there'll be instructions so you can see it how to make the broth, or if you wanna get already cooked lobster, I guess you could do that as well. I just wanted to do this dish as authentic as I can. Um, these are cherry peppers, because um, there's some of the peppers in the recipe that I just couldn't find at the store, so I was able to find um, substitutes. Okay, guys, for you're gonna go ahead and boil your anchos um, for about um, 10 to 15 minutes until they are softened. Okay, um, I would say about 15 minutes. Um, you just let it boil until it gets soft and you're gonna pour off the water. Okay guys, another part to before we start even cooking this meal is you're gonna set your oven to 400 degrees and you're gonna put in your hazelnut and almonds and roast till they're dark brown about 12 to 15 minutes. And once that happens, um, once it's roasted and done, you can take the skin off of um, the hazelnuts. You can go ahead and rub the skin off the hazelnuts. We have the oil heating to fry the bread. Joe's gonna be the bread fryer today. Um, so we can get our, uh, make our paste. All right, so we'll be right back with the frying of the All bread. Right, we're gonna go ahead, the oil is ready, and we're gonna put the bread in. And we have to fry it until it's brown, not burnt, but brown. And if it looks like it's getting now, in this recipe, it says two piece slices of bread, but this is the bread we had, um, and it's what we're using. <laughs> so um, we'll go ahead and let one side fry, and then we'll, like I said, there, all the instructions will be there, okay? Okay, the bread didn't take all the way five minutes to fry. We did how long, Joe? Like two and a half. Two and, and a half, so this is what the I'll brown I'll probably put like. another flip on it again. But yeah. That is basically what they're looking for right there, no more than that. Well, it's going in the yeah. paste anyway. Okay, right. so the bread's done. I'm supposed to cut it in um, cubes, but it's so crunchy and stuff. I think I'm gonna break it up because it's gonna go in to make the paste. Also, um, with the ancho peppers that I boiled, 
I poured out the water, but I did leave a little bit to put in, a little bit of water to put in the paste. Um, I'm gonna show you how much I did just because I wanted it to make sure. Let's see, I'm the cameraman too. <laughs> see the little bit right there? I did that um, so that when I'm blending, because this is, um, I have some of the bread in there already. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with that, with blending to make the paste, and then I'll put the rest in. My, my paste is ready to get to the next step. And I gotta tell y'all, it really does smell good. It really does smell really good. Next step, guys, we're gonna go ahead and saute the onions. My olive oil is ready. Let's get this going. Oh, yeah. And then with the onions, we're gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Oh, got some more onions over here. This is how much salt I'm putting in for now. Not that much, but you can salt and pepper to your taste. As you go, you can, you know, taste it and see later if you need more of any of it. And we're just gonna let this um, cook to get some color onto it. And then we'll go to the next step. All right, let me see if I can. Okay guys, my onions, the, my 10 minutes on this up and it got the nice brown color it's supposed to have being cooked on medium heat. Um, I don't even want to turn my fan on. It smells so good in here. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and add the paste to the onion. All right. Whoa. Let's get it all in there. I'm not missing a drop. Not a drop. And we're going to get this blended in together. And let it cook on medium high for like five minutes, I'm gonna set it Now this said to go on medium heat, but I turn it down because I don't, I want this to um, blend properly without burning. So I did turn it down a little lower and um, before I put the sauce in, and I did add a little more olive oil. You're right, Joey, I did add a little more olive oil because I don't want it to burn in any kind of way. So, you know, it's a different from the instructions. Like I said, as you cook these things, you'll learn on your own how to tweak it yourself for whatever works for you best. All right. My five minutes is up for that. And now it's time to add the tomato puree. Now I'm using can. They say you can use can or Cali. Cut it out. They say you can use a can. I guess she wants to go outside with her added but I gotta get that garlic thing out of there. But you add the tomato puree and let me get that out of there. And we're gonna add half a cup of dry white wine. And we're gonna stir this baby in and let it simmer for about, let's see, I think it's about just a little bit and then we'll add the rest, okay? okay guys, while I'm letting this simmer, what we're looking for it to do is dry out a little bit before we add the broth that I made earlier, okay? Hot simmered, I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. Simmer some more. I set it on a five minute timer to see how much it'll dry out simmering on five minutes. Actually, I really just came back on because I wanted y'all to hear this song. <laughs> five minutes is up, but I mean, it doesn't look too dried out. Like they said, it should get dried out a little bit. So I'm gonna do 
five more minutes and let it simmer five more minutes and get a little, um, see what happens after that before I add the broth. All right, guys. Um, it's less than that last five minute timer I set to um, simmer it a little bit more. And I think it's good with it drying out. So we're gonna go ahead and add that eight cups of broth I added. So I'm gonna have this with the broth simmer for 10 minutes um, so it could start to thicken up. Um, I stirred it in really good. And, and if there was any bits on the bottom from when I simmered um, the stuff earlier, that's all brought up now. So I'm gonna let this simmer for 10 minutes and then we shall be back. I think that's a beautiful looking thing right now. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and add our broth. See, I I want, I made the broth with the shells. So of course, you know, I strained, um, strained it off once it was done. And honestly guys, that was my first time making broth from scratch. Um, oh boy, this is gonna be a tough one. It's like splashing everywhere. But and get it all in there. You know how many times I've cleaned up this kitchen today just by prepping this meal. So if, <laughs> if you're not a kitchen prepper person, I suggest maybe you don't you you know this meal's not this is a it's kind of a complicated meal, but it's not hard. But it's a lot of process. A lot of process to get to the deliciousness. Okay, guys. So it's been over 10 minutes. And I'm. it's getting thick. But I would say you got to let this simmer and get as thick as it possibly can to your liking. So I'm just letting it simmer and cook and get thicker before I even put the clams and lobster meat in. So it's way more than just 10 minutes just so you all know all right guys so this has been simmering for a while i suggest that if you're going to do this dish do like i did and start early um and it's it's pretty thick as i want to so now i'm going to bring it to um a high simmer before i add the clams because look it's pretty thick if you want it thicker you could let it sit as long as you want because it's like if you're going to make a um, pasta sauce from scratch or something i'm you know, you cook it for hours. Okay guys, so this is a vigorous simmer and Joe's gonna go ahead and put the clams in. They're all good, babe? Yeah. You know what? This is why I don't let him come into my kitchen. He play too much. They're, the clams are washed and clean. Remember, if they don't open, don't eat them. That's right. Don't hurt yourself like that. And then we gotta um, go ahead and cook them. And once they open up, we'll add the next thing. The next yeah. best thing. My clams are ready, y'all. Go ahead and show it to them, baby. Clams gotta be open. If they're not open, it ain't it. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and put the lobster meat in. Guys, it's all done there. Five, less than actually, it was less than five minutes because the the, um, well, the, the, the lobster meat was already cooked, cooked right? It, 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 right. On this stove, we turned it down. Yeah. So there you go. That's all done. Good.